So I had seen many people using this Sodexo meal passes and sometime back, you know, you had this Sodexo vouchers of different denominations. Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Vlogging with Rajesh G. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing great and I hope it continues that way. I had seen people using this uh, Sodexo meal passes and vouchers because sometime back, you know, more than card, these vouchers were prevalent of different denominations, which was easy for people to make purchases. And card is, uh, you know, predominant these days because, you know, we are the card generation. So... I have seen people using it, but I was never so inclined towards it. Uh, so I, I always avoided it. So in my new organization, you know, they suggested that I start uh, using Sodexo meal passes. And I was like, okay, and I applied for it. But that doesn't mean that, you know, in my previous organizations, I didn't have the privilege. I always had the privilege, but I always declined it for the reasons best known to me. But my decision was right. And that you will understand over the course of this video. So what happened in this new organization, I applied for my Sodexo card and I got it. And I was under the assumption that, you know, these Sodexo meal passes can be used at all the grocery shops and at all the restaurants. But that isn't the case. So what happens if you are possessing Sodexo meal passes will be explained to you in this vlog. So the first month when my funds were credited to Sodexo meal pass, I went for my grocery shopping. So most of my grocery shopping is done from DMART because, you know, that is the cheapest and the best. So what happened? I went there, I did all the shopping and at the billing counter, I produced my Sodexo meal pass. And that guy said, uh, sir, you know, we don't accept Sodexo. I told him, what rubbish? I told him, please try it at least, no? He swiped the card twice, but nothing happened. And I was like, why is it not working? Then uh, there was a store manager next to us. So I called him and I told him, see, I am giving him Sodexo and I have bought groceries only and, and, and I don't know what's the reason why this card is being declined. He said, Sir, DMART has not collaborated with Sodexo, hence we can't use Sodexo cards. And I was like, what? So with, you know, great difficulty, I took my credit card, which was already bleeding that time. I gave it to them. For them, it was one swipe, but I knew what I had to pay the next month for it. So I came back home and the first thing which I did was like, I called up my colleague from office and I told, you know what, uh, I went to DMART and this is, I narrated the entire incident. So they said, you know what, Sodexo card is not used at all the stores and at all the restaurants. They can be, uh, they can be used only at certain stores and restaurants. And they told me or they suggested me uh, to, you know, go through the app because by then I already had the app on my phone. So what happened when I was just going through the app, I saw an option which showed me all the shops where uh, Sodexo meal pass will be accepted in my vicinity. And, you know, I don't visit any of those shops barring one. And I was like, all the shops which they are, which they have mentioned, no, will never be frequented by me. And I was wondering what should I do next because you know every month this fund will be credited to the card and I have to utilize this fund. So then I was just I had to order some food on Zomato. So I saw oh Zomato has a Sodexo option as well as Big Basket had an option. So what I started utilizing my this Sodexo meal pass both in Zomato as well as uh, Big Basket. But then I realized one thing. That, you know, I don't order food on, on Zomato very frequently. Now, though, I have completely stopped. Reason? You know, Zomato's delivery charges have skyrocketed like anything. I think in the month of October and November, they had an option called delivery for, sorry, meal for one. So, if you order or if you order from that option, you know, you will get meal inclusive of delivery charges and I have ordered for twice or thrice. So for a person like me who is all alone, it's always better to opt for meal for one or even if you are two people, no, still this is a better deal than the normal deals where you have to pay hefty delivery charges. So I have completely stopped ordering food. I have as I shortlisted few restaurants in my vicinity. So if in case I want, all I do is to take my bike, go 
have the food come back or order it from there and come back even after doing all these exercises i feel i am paying much less than the delivery charges of zomato and as far as big basket is concerned definitely i order groceries but my grocery consumption is very less because major chunk of my grocery comes from dmart and i am very much happy so in totality whatever funds was being credited to my sudexo meal passes was actually getting accumulated with very little or minimal usages and those funds i would say was kind of a debt for me which i don't know when i would be using but you know every month it will be accumulating and over a period of time that funds will actually keep growing which i can only use at certain places so the conclusion is since sodexo uh, meal pass can't be used at all the grocery shops at all the restaurants uh, because half of the restaurant they say they have not tied up with sodexo for the reasons best known with them because when i checked with dmart they told we want to connect with sodexo but sodexo has a different policy and both of us we are not able to reach to a win win situation as a result of which we have decided to go with whatever process of payments we have with us right now and because of these fights between two things no customers like us we are suffering so the end result is i have decided to discontinue sudexo meal pass after just 3 months of usage and today i feel i took the best decision years back when i had already declined the usage of sudexo meal pass because for a person like me i don't think this is of much use because i am not a person who frequents restaurants or who orders so much of food from online most of the time i like to have home food or i prefer to go to the nearest restaurant or uh, wherein you know this uh, or street food i like street food more because you know fresh the food is very fresh and it gets consumed by the end of the day and the restaurants also have shortlisted the food where i like the most in zomato you don't have the options not all your restaurants which you like are actually listed in zomato so again you end up ordering food from some restaurants or you always have to take some risk which i don't think i'm in a position to take so so in case your organization is also willing to issue you a sudexo card please check what kind of card is it if it is a meal pass card i have already listed all the problem but if it is a multi purpose pass then i think you can use it at all restaurants in all the places that is what i feel or i assume since i have not used that card i can't say anything but sodexo card is actually divided into two parts first is meal pass second is multi purpose pass so you need to check with your organization first about the usability factor of this sodexo cards and then apply for it because otherwise you will be in the same position which i am wherein i have applied for it and within 3 months of its usage i have decided to discontinue it so i hope uh, this video was informative for you if that's the case like the video share the video post your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so until my next video bye bye take care and spread the power of positivity around you